Good day to you. I'm hoping you're having a fantastic day. And wait a minute, it's already Wednesday, so one of those things. Um, if you're watching this video right now, this has been recorded live on Facebook. And if you're catching this part right now, you're watching a replay. All right, so what does that mean? I want you to hit the number two so that we know who we're working with. And it also helps us to tailor our content. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave us a comment. I see Stephen Kelly has just tuned in. My man, how's it going? I'm hoping you're having a fantastic Wednesday and that your show is also, um, you know, coming to place. Aaron Egan, thank you so much, my man. How's it all going? Whoa, I see everybody's tuning in. Look, Moroni, what's happening, brother? Hope everyone is having a fantastic day and thank you all so much. I mean, I, from the bottom of my heart, all the support, um, you know, all the acknowledgement. I mean, you could be doing better things with your life right now at 2 p.m., but you choose to hang around with me. So I really, really appreciate your, um, you know, your, your, your support right there, guys. So um, as you would understand, for those that are watching this for the first time, my mission really is to help entrepreneurs such as yourself to actually set up reliable and um, lucrative businesses that are profitable and you actually enjoy working in them. So we use a simple yet effective four-step digital marketing strategy um, that I help newbies, um, you know, to create high profile, um, you know, businesses that they would actually be able to will over to the next generation by implementing business systems and processes that actually work in whatever industry. And I do this daily guys, every single day at 2 PM AEST without a fail, unless I'm out there shooting or seeing my accountant who still doesn't trust technology. All right. So for those that are normally tuning in, you would understand that I viscerally believe that if you're running an online business, it has to be profitable and enjoyable. And today I've got something new for you guys. If you are obviously in Australia, which I think a lot of you guys are, I want you to tell me the acronym ACDC. What does that remind you of or what does it tell you? Can you type in the comments uh, below the acronym ACDC? Tell me what it makes you um, think of while I'm actually introducing those people that are not aware what this show is all about, all right? So like I said earlier on that I really believe um, that every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. And um, the reason why I do this is, you know, it's not easy out there being on your own. On your, on your own trying to, um, you know, create a business for yourself or whatever your your niche is or for whatever your why really is, you know what I mean? So that's why whenever I come up, um, you know, with new strategies, I, I try and impart them and share them um, with everybody else that's, um, you know, willing to listen. Now, Thunderstrike! <laughs> that's it, look, Moroni, and you should dance to that. I, need, I mean, I know on your videos you're always dancing. Stephen Kelly thinks ACDC is a band. Um, high voltage rock and roll. Ding -a -ding -a -ding. I even have a rock guitar somewhere in here. Um, I should have brought it out as a prop for this show today, but you know, as 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 you would know, we really want the content instead of um, you know the the props. Now, um, Aaron says Uni Life is up now. Definitely, we'll be watching this tonight. Proper. Do what you can, when you can, how you can, with who you can. That's exactly what I really wish for everybody else. Now, back to the drawing board. ACDC. All right. Now, ACDC, yes, you say it's a band. Yes, it's a live uh, rock and roll band. But I want you to actually incorporate this into your marketing. All right. You should no longer, if you know me, Prosper, and you watch these videos, you should no longer spray and pray with your marketing. You should ACDC your marketing, all right? First of all, the first A stands for awareness. Can somebody help me with typing these things as I write them? Can somebody write, uh, type these things as we go? The first stage of your marketing is awareness. People need to know who you are. People need to know what you sell. People need to know what you contribute. People need to know why they should listen to you. And there's different stages and there's different marketing tactics that you put in the awareness stage. The second stage is the C, which is the consideration. Now that they are aware of who you are, 
they now start considering, should we watch his videos, should we um, check out his content, should we read his blogs, or should we listen to what he's got to say? That's the consideration phase. And that stage, those that are watching, you would understand the consideration phase has different marketing tricks that you have to do to the people that are in that part of the sales funnel. The D is the decision phase. Now they're deciding, should we buy from you? Should we continuously listen? Should we pick up the phone and call you? Should we opt into your, um, you know, to your funnel? That's the decision phase. In that stage, there's different types of marketing that you need to be doing in order for the people to actually understand who you are and what you're doing and why they should care. Now the last beat is the C, which is a conversion stage. This is where you literally take money off of them. This is where you literally, um, you know, ask them to surrender their credit cards or um, their, um, you know, wallets. The conversion stage, they at least uh, uh, look C, all right? So that's the A, C, D, C. Right now, instead of rock and roll, you're actually rocking, rocking and rolling with your audience in order for them to actually understand who you are, how you can help them, and how they need to connect with you, um, you know, at any stage of where they are within their business. All right. So how do you do all of these things in all these different stages? Because um, I think it was Peter Drucker. I think, uh, let me just think about the book that he wrote. Peter Drucker says, the aim of marketing is to really know and understand the customer so well um, that the product or service fits him and it sells itself. So if you are aware that your audience is at the awareness stage, you're giving them information that would help them know, like, and trust who you are, right? If you're aware what stage your audience really is, because sometimes you might just put out a piece of content and hope that people would understand, but you are not sure what stage of their business they are. So they don't quite know who you are. They're probably just going to swipe right or they're just probably going to, um, you know, keep scrolling because they're not aware of who you are. So there's certain different types of marketing tricks and strategies that you can do in order to grab their attention. Because you can't sell to anyone else until you've gotten their attention. I see Corn Nichols is in the house. Thank you so much, my man, for tuning in. All right. So at any stage of your marketing, you should be asking yourself, what part of ACDC is this piece of marketing going to? And who are the people that are in that sort of category? And how am I going to be speaking to them? Because if you're not aware how your marketing or your, your, your message is influencing your audience, how are they going to respond? Because if you tell me certain things about your business when I don't know what your service is, at the end of the day, that marketing is lost, isn't it? So before you reach out and go and, and, and spend so much money on your Facebook ads, figure out, is this piece of marketing that I'm putting out, is it getting people to be aware of what my business is is it to the consideration part is it going to people that have already known who i am are considering to purchase from me or are they already deciding and this piece of content is just going to help them convert who they i mean convert them into uh you know buying customers of mine or um you know purchasing you know um you know, entities or people that are going to buy from me that we're going to start a relationship or you're going to be closing those sales. So a lot of people lose a lot of money. And this is where people like myself that run digital marketing businesses and are dealing with, you know, with, with these kind of things day in and day out. I just really have to report to people that once you know the buying journey or your buyer's journey, you will be know what piece of content or what piece of advertising to really put out there. All right. But right about now, there's a lot of things that you could do. You could use social media. You could use your own website. You could use different other platforms or you could just simply jump on the Australian business online directory. All right. So it's just one of those things that uh, you need to, to be aware at what stage is this piece of content going out to my audience? Because at any stage, you are going to need to advertise to your audience six to eight times for them to actually understand who you are. 
for them to actually consider how um you know they need to deal with you or what is it that what's in it for them for them to interact with your business you know that's why McDonald's has six to eight adverts every single day of the same commodity so that you and you can go and buy a happy meal. All right. So don't just anticipate just because you're putting content out there, just because you're writing a status update out there, just because you've got a website. People already know who you are because everybody else is busy and they're all at different stages within their buyer's journey. They need to be aware of who you are. They need to start considering whether or not to start interacting with your content. They need to have a decision right about then. Okay, so now that I've been educated and now that I know who this person is, I know and like and trust them, they now make a decision whether to go into your funnel or to actually start um, you know, their, 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 their buying journey with you. And then pretty much after that, that's where the conversion comes in. So... That's where the whole ACDC, um, I'm, I'm hoping since we already have that anchor of the band, it's going to be easy for you to actually um, master this concept and, um, you know, take it away so that you can actually be doing, have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I see Nicole uh, Lawrence is in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So in as much as you would know, you would understand that if your business is not present, you know, in the public sphere, it's not going to last that long. A lot of businesses will make the statistic of not having made up until the fifth year just because nobody knows who they are. They're not selling enough. And half of the times people actually cannot recall what their brand is all about. Do you know what I mean? So half of the things that we as uh, small to medium businesses really focus on is we really want to make sure that our product is outstanding and our services are outstanding. But if you don't have clients to, ser to serve, if you don't have clients to sell those products to, then what good is your business? Do you know what I mean? We spend 90% of the time just trying to make sure that our funnel is looking proper, our website is looking proper, but we're not actually reaching out to the audience and figuring out what stage are they actually within their buyer's journey. ACDC, my man, Thunder Strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me some love, guys. I mean, I had to think this through and figure out how can I actually, you know, explain this in a way that people would understand it and then it sticks with them in a totally different way, you know? Because we already know what the band is like. We already know the acronyms. But if we're going to utilize these acronyms to our advantage, every time you're putting out, um, you know, a, 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 um, a, a thunder strike, which happens to be a, you know, what do you call it? Which happens to be a marketing piece, you need to figure out, am I in the awareness stage of whoever is going to be seeing this, is this going out to the consideration stage? Is this going out to the decision stage? Or am I actually converting these people? So there's a few things that you can put together um, with unique communication. Then you... <laughs> Look, says, between your singing and your dancing, we might have something. Hey, hold on. I've got something as well to put to, you know, to bring... To bring um, let me see. Let me see if I can bring it out real quick. Yeah, 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 thunderstruck. Yeah, look, you created a monster, my man. <laughs> Alrighty then, it still comes with the. Ta da! Check this baby out. Yeah. All right, so we we could be. We could be the look and prosper. We could be the look and prosper rock band, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So I realized that um, um, a, um, you know, one thing that a lot of people don't recognize is actually the importance of making sure, um, you know, making sure that you have your business out there and people are actually remembering who you are. Because every single moment you put out stuff out there, it doesn't mean people understand um, or people already know who you are because everyone is busy. Do you know what I mean? The, 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 you promoting your business is an 
is a never ending and is you have to be dedicated and you have to be um you know intentional about always putting word out there about who you are and why people should um you know worry about your business all right so once you know the different stages of where your customer could be you could actually put out four days of the week where you're just working with the awareness stage of your business where where tuesday is just the consideration stage of the business where on um wednesday you put up content that deals with the decision phase of the business and then on 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 uh on Thursday, you then look at the consideration um, phase of the business. And then Friday, you put it all together. You know what I mean? So you need to be giving people like a Hansel and Gretel, you know, step so that people are actually clear on who you are. You also should teach your audience that who they are is, 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 is what you want to work with. All right. Yes, the customer is always right, etc., etc. But if they don't know that you're looking for them as a particular audience or as a customer, it will be difficult for them to actually move down your funnel. All right. So there's different things that you could do, uh, different strategies. But I'm mainly looking at video as it has given me tremendous results. So I'm probably just going to stick around the video realm to actually explain what to do in the awareness stage, what to do in the consideration uh, stage, what videos to put out in the, um, what do you call it in the, in the, in the, in the decision stage and what videos to put out in the consideration stage. All right. All of this can be done via Facebook live. All right. So when you do your Facebook live like this, you can always take it off of Facebook, put it onto a different channel like YouTube or cut it up and then put it up into um, onto your Snapchat or your Instagram. All of that, as long as you know that your message is out there to reach out to the people that haven't heard about you as yet. And then it gets better. I see Ansley has just tuned in. What's happening? Thank you so much for tuning in, my love. It's been a minute. Tell me where you've been. You're hiding from me, are you? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right. So basically, when when you now know, you know that you you are treating your customers because not everybody's gonna understand what you're saying at that particular time at that at, 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 at that juncture of their journey. So if you're meeting people where they are and they're also separating themselves or they're also um, you're segmenting themselves and knowing whether you're the right kind of person that can save them or help them with their kind of pain, it will actually then help both of you to not waste time and, and you actually reaching out to an audience that is prepared for your work and that is prepared to hear exactly what it is that you got to say you know because if you've ever come out with a new product or or a service you would know that it, how tough it can be you know to get word out there about it you know you might think that you know putting up just one video is enough but it's not going to be the same marketing is like taking a shower you know, it's like you need to do it every single day. But if you know what stages you're doing it every every time, it makes it a whole lot easier. You've broken it down and then you know that your content is not just going to be falling on deaf ears. You know, you know, because you could be offering the best product in town. But if nobody knows about it and if you don't promote it properly, it's just crickets. That's all you're going to hear. So I wouldn't want that if we're dealing together or if we're working together, you know. So it's just one of those things that when you know that there's an awareness phase, there's a, you know, there's a consideration phase, there's a decision phase, and then there's a conversion phase, you will start putting out your content and it's no longer going to be overwhelming for you as well. So I'm going to give you a few creative ways for you to put it out there. Um, I'm hoping that this ACDC thing is going to stick I like putting new things out there on the market, especially if I've thought them out by myself. And me and and Luke Moroni, you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually start our band, leave everything else we've built, and then just go out there and busk, yeah? <laughs> just start making a bit of coin. All right. So one of the things that you can do, especially on the awareness phase, when people don't understand or people haven't known um, about your business or how you can put it out there is do top of the funnel type um, activities. The top of the funnel is always, you know, the, 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 the part where people don't quite um, 
understand what you're selling. People don't know who you are and you're trying to break the pattern of whatever they know already. You know what I mean? So this is the introduction and the seduction part. All right. You know what you're selling. You know who, who um, you know, uh, you know, everything else to do with your product. But your audience has never heard about you and they know jack diddly about what you've got to do. So this is where you've got to be creative. You know, and in marketing, you can use, um, you know, the form of fun, informative. And usually this part is free because nobody's going to pay to want to know who you are before they know who you are. You know what I mean? So that you can achieve your means. So first of all, try and look at Facebook Live as your introductory part for, for the awareness stage. OK, and how, how do you do this? Every single morning, I reach out to at least 10 different people. All right. That I think might be good. Um, you know, a good audience for me. Friend request them. And then later on at two o'clock, they get to see who I am. Um, and in, 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 you know, or, or, or get to see, um, you know, this live here. You know, you could also do maybe a brand film if you've got, um, you know, the, the, the moolah, if you've got the money. Because the, the, the purpose of a brand film is to really acquaint your audience with, with your values, with, to really acquaint your audience with your vision. You know all of those with those motivational stuff that a lot of people are doing. And ultimately, you know, the core of your brand, who you are, what you stand for and what you can do to help them. You know, and then at the end of the day, Mike, how's it going? Luke, my man, thank you so much. Uh, Ansley says, what's one thing... What's one thing you do to keep consistently uh, consistency of posting going on a day to day basis with everything else going on around you too? OK, this is um, this I, I can't speak for you. You need to find a balance and you need to you need to you really be strict with yourself, whether you can or whether you cannot. People want to see results. OK, if you didn't show up. Um, every single day, people would get tired of one click wonders. The way I do it is I plan my day the, 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 the day before. Um, and by planning the day before is by talking to people and finding out exactly what they need to know. And I just go out there and research and read all about it. I constantly am feeding my mind with new and exciting content. I never dwell on the past. I never dwell on stuff that is not going to help me move forward. I know we're people, we have problems right about the last couple of days. We had issues to do with our garden. Um, we had a guy that came through, we paid him heaps of money and he didn't show up. You know, that's money that we've lost. And now I had to do the garden myself, etc., etc. But you know what? At the end of the day, it took me off my work. You, you really have to have a really positive mind. You really got to want it. This whole business thing is like an iceberg. 90% we don't get to see. You get to see the 30 minutes that I show up online every single day and give you new T you know, uh, trips and tricks. So you have to be solid inside and know what your end goal is and keep plugging away because anything can, can come in your way or the coffee might be cold that day or, you know, your little girl might be sick and then you might just let that deter you. What are your vision? What do you want for your business? And make sure you just every single day you are going out there to get it. Because all these other small things, they're trivial, you know, but it's, 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 it's different with people to people. Some people let um, things that are going on around them affect them or take the better part of them. I mean, it's not like every day my life is good, you know what I mean? But I know I'm on a mission. I have, um, you know, I have work to do. I have work cut out for me. And my goals are so big, they scare small minds. And if I you know, I'm not strong enough within myself, then no one is going to help me or come and knock on my house's door there. Um, honestly, and say, hey, listen, you know, do things, uh, you know, to 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 work on your business. So 90 percent, 90, 10, 90 percent is personal work, personal development, who you are, what you really want to serve. If you're on purpose, if you're doing things that you absolutely love, this whole ACDC thing will come naturally. All right. 
So if you're just tuning in, guys, uh, thank you so much. It's just one of those things where we're talking about there's different stages within your marketing. You can't just spray and pray with your marketing. Make sure that when you're putting content out there, are people aware of who you are? Are people um, you know, in the consideration phase? Are people in the decision-making phase? Or are people ready to convert, right? So every single person needs different type of content so that they can actually interact with your business. So I was just about to give different... Um, um, you know, um, you know, different examples of, of videos that you would put out there, you know, that make you, that make people aware of who you are. You could use a brand film that actually puts out your visions, your values, and you know, the, the, the core of who you are as a brand. And like what Ansley, um, you know, <laughs> Ansley, uh, just said to me that, that I was super passionate because it's part of my values to actually have this show, um, as part of my daily thing because I know that we're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. So if every single day I don't contribute, I feel like I haven't done something, I feel like something is missing so if you put that out there and people get to know who you are people get to understand you on a personal level then they know like and trust you and people do business with those they know like and trust honestly so it's it's up to you to really really tell yourself is this what you want who are you doing it for and what would happen if you don't show up so then you would start checking in with yourself and know that you're not that selfish because your life story honestly and your life message have Great, tremendous value to other people that need to be hearing it. So don't skimp on trying to put your message out there if your whole being and your values and the core of your brand depends on you showing up. All right. So you need to figure that part out. Um, some things that you can do in the awareness phase is animation videos. You know, all those little doddle videos that tell people what your brand does um, it just gives the wall factor and it's easy and, and, and people interact with those easily, you know what I mean? And it makes the content memorable, you know? So you can show off your brand's creativity, you know, by doing bite-sized video content that is all in the awareness phase right there. So that makes people understand who you are. And also remember, guys, when you're putting content out there, it's always there to engage, always there to educate, and always there to inspire. So in the consideration phase, also treat that as the content phase of the blueprint. You got to be positioning yourself and engaging people so that they will come back tomorrow for more. Remember, we are just bringing them into our all, our world. It's like inviting people to a party. Okay, and then there's no nibbles at the back, um, you know, or, or there's no food or drinks or music. You want to invite people because you know at the end of the day you are going to be providing them with a service that they actually need and want. Now, Mike says, just hopping on, hope all is well. Absolutely, my brother. Hope you're doing fantastic too. All right. So in the awareness phase, put out educational videos as well. Um, people always love learning new things. And if your brand is providing them with that information, also the know, like, and trust comes in quicker, better, faster. You know what I mean? And um, usually that's at the top of the funnel so that people understand what you serve, who you serve, and how they can actually um, you know, connect with you. And if you've got the capacity or if you've got the... Um, the budget, do a video documentary on how you actually started because a lot of people are doing these, um, you know, video documentaries so that people get to understand where you actually started your startup story because your story is totally different. Do you know what I mean? And it, it then it then acts as a cross between a brand film and an educational film. And, and you know, you, you can you can play around with it. Just bring people into your world creatively. So the, the you remember you remember where, what they say about, um, you know, uh, first impressions. Make sure that top of the funnel video or that top of the funnel, um, you know, exercise or, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, you know, Facebook Live is really bringing in people in. It's entertaining, it's teaching, and it's actually showing, putting out your best foot forward. All right. So the consideration stage, I think we've only got a minute left. <laughs> the consideration phase, this is when you're nurturing the leads. You've obtained them. They've come in. They've already liked what they see. Now they want more. All right. So the idea with the consideration phase is to steer them closer to opening their wallet and reminding them how much you rock, how much value you have, you know, without rubbing their faces on, on, on trying to sell them. 
All right, because people like buying stuff, as you know, but nobody likes being sold to. So you're just putting out high quality content, adding more value because you get paid in direct proportion to the value you put out in the marketplace right there. So here you can start doing, you know, video emails, um, you know, just maybe touch on one subject and really, you know, show people you can help them by actually help them. And maybe you can start opening up the Pandora's box about your products. So a, a, a product video is also good at this stage of the consideration um, video, um, you know, stage because then um, nothing helps people more than showing how your product and service actually works. And, and, and then you're actually showing them how it would make a difference in their life. You know what I mean? So this is when they are considering working with you. And also people want, want to know where their money is going to go to. So the culture of your, your company or the culture of your brand, you need to showcase that you, you, during the consideration stage. So all of that is really, really important. And, um, when people are also considering, try and incorporate testimonials there as well, because people would then understand that at least five other people have had tremendous results from working with you. That would then make them actually, um, you know, consider wanting to work with you, etc., etc. Now, the decision phase, this is where you put out videos that will actually solidify the message because they've already sold themselves that you are the person to provide them um you know with with the service so if you can do demonstration videos to actually help them by solving their particular problems so q and a's personalized videos um etc etc but at the end of the day it's just one of those things put content out there that is aligned to the stage at which your customer is so if your customer is in the awareness phase put out stuff that would help them be aware of your brand if your customer is in the consideration phase put out stuff that helps them consider you amongst your competition if they're going to be making a decision help them make those decisions by putting out content that helps them or moves them closer to the c beat which is the um the consideration or the conversion state, no, the conversion state. So that's the acronym ACDC that we were playing around with. If you really enjoyed this video, let's have a chat. Or if you really want to fast track your, um, you know, marketing so that you're marketing to an audience that is already um, happy to get uh, some of your stuff, uh, come and join us at um, the Australian Business Online Directory because um, we've created it and made it so easy that when you are finding other businesses to work with within Australia, um, it's easy. It's just typing in um, a few, you know, keywords and find out who exactly can be your next service provider. So if you want the link to the uh, Australian Business Online Directory, just type in ABOD, A-B-O-D, or directory, and then I'll shoot you through um, the link. And if you've got any questions for today's show, please shoot them through. Let me know how you feel about this ACDC, um, you know, concept. And if you want to flesh it out a little bit, um, let's work together and see how you can implement it within your business. In the meantime, thank you so much for indulging me. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I really wish that your business becomes profitable and enjoyable. Bye for now.